dedicated to helping you get the most out of life. And sometimes that means completely stretching the boundaries of our comfort zones, going to new heights, and changing up our perspective a little bit. Today, we're doing exactly that. With the help of Skydive Australia here in Melbourne, I am gonna be free falling from 14,000 feet above Port Melbourne Bay. I'm so excited, but I have to get ready for my jump. Here's a look at what's happening on tonight's show. I want to share with you a really healing juice. Then we're gonna look at some treatment and prevention for drug addiction with Mick Hall from Dayhab. Preparing kids and babies for the future can be really demanding and stressful. But we have mums who are gonna share their stories to help you and your child. When you're exercising regularly, you still gotta make sure you put the right things into your body. Next up, we've got Talia who's gonna share a little secret with us where we can still eat the snacks that we love and stay fit at the same time. Sounds good to me. We all have a secret, don't we? And today, I've got one to share with you. Did you know that nutritious snacking doesn't have to be boring? It actually can be delicious. I've got Sharon from Slim Secrets to tell us a little bit more about this Australian-based company that you started yourself. Hi Ty, thank you for having me. Oh, it's great to have you here. So first off, tell me, I mean, what is Slim Secrets? It sounds a little mysterious. <laughs> Firstly, our philosophy at Slim Secrets isn't about extreme dieting, rather finding healthier ways to have everything. We should be able to have the occasional cookie or chocolate bar. And, Absolutely. And that's what you're giving us, isn't it? Absolutely Good. right. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Our brand is all about healthy snacking and we have products such as um, bars, cookies, um, puddings. Oh yum! Cookies, Shit. bars, puddings, that sounds like a dessert, a dessert table. <laughs> Absolutely right. Your philosophy is quite simple but very profound at the same time. What is your mission as a brand? Our brand's mission is to offer a wide variety of healthy, nutritionally balanced snacks to help people nourish their lives and pursue a healthy uh, and active lifestyle. We try with our products to get a really good balance between protein and fibre and also lower in sugar without using artificial ingredients um, and also too a lot of our products are gluten free and dairy free which a lot of consumers are looking for these days. Yeah it's so great to have so many options because it, it is hard to find something one that's convenient, two that's delicious, three that does meet all of those nutritional boxes. Absolutely one of the one of the great things too is that company is Australia is our products are made in Australia they're non-GMO so you know, we try and really um, tick all the boxes in terms of being a healthier snack. With our busy lifestyles, often snacking is where we fall short because we have our good meals, but it's the in-between. Is this a good alternative to reaching for that chocolate bar? We, one of the reasons I actually started Slim Secrets was I was doing some health and wellness coaching and one of the main problems was their snacking. They knew what they should or shouldn't eat for meals and they were you know, pretty good at meal time, but it was more that, you know, that five o'clock up afternoon mm -hmm. snack attack or that nighttime binge that really let their um, weight management down or their healthy snacking down. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's where I saw the gap in the market at the time. And um, it's just, you know, when you're busy and on the run, it's so easy just to pick up and grab something that's... Whatever is whatever's available. Definitely. And, you know, whatever is in the, the office, you know, snack room or break room or in, in the vending machine if you don't have an alternative. For sure. So. What we do is, you know, hopefully people keep our products in their bags or, or you know, in their desk drawer or in their pantry so at least there's something um, that's more nutritionally balanced that they can grab when yeah. they're busy and on the go. What I really love about your products is that they have the right balance of nutritional elements yet they still taste delicious. <laughs> That was our aim when we started 10 years ago because when I was working as the health and wellness coach, there really weren't any products that tasted good that were lower in calories and, and nutritionally balanced. So the one thing that we do get from our um, consumers is thank you for providing you know a snack that actually a healthy snack that actually tastes good. Yeah, and they really do taste great. Thank you so much for providing us with something that is that is both healthy and, and indulgent at the same time. And I love that this has also come out of your, your personal experience as a consumer looking for something for, for yourself and your family. 
So 100% right. If you'd like some more information on Slim Secrets and any of the products that they have available, you can go to www.slimsecrets.com.au or head to the getalife.tv website and follow some of the links. Sharon, thank you so much, one, for being with us, two, for providing us with some delicious snacks. I think I might go have one now. Thank you. <laughs> A snack that is healthy and still good for me, that is my type of treat. Next up, we've got Craig Harper with Mick Hall talking to us about drug addiction. Were you 12 or 13 when you had your first drink? Somewhere between there. We're looking at the neurology, yeah. now I'd like to look at the psychology. Team, I'm Craig Harper chatting all things addiction with Michael Hall from Dayhab. Are some people more or less likely from a genetic point of view or a biological point of view? Yeah. Like, is it possible that you're, you, Mick Hall, are more likely to be an, an addict yep. just because of your inherent biology than me, Craig Harper? Absolutely. That's explain. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, Mick. <laughs> I ask him the hard questions because I don't know the answers. doesn't let me off the hook. No, but it is, there is a genetic component, There right? is a genetic component to addiction. The landscape of the brain, yeah. okay, can be, um, in some people, is quite um, sturdy, quite rigid, yeah. and it's harder to forge uh, neurological pathways. Yeah. And, and other people, that contour of the brain is a lot softer, yeah. and, and it's much easier yeah. To, to produce those neurological pathways. And the way they're produced is mm. when a person, mm. this is how a person can use or drink themselves into addiction. Mm. They keep drinking. Mm. By drinking, they're, th they're smashing their brain with uh, dopamine. And over time, the neurological pathways mm. are, are, are created within the brain. And it's, called a, it's like a neurological memory system. Yeah. You know? And so, that, so the brain knows that if I do this behavior, if I put this chemical in my body, yeah. I'm going to produce this response through those receptors and I'm going to feel awesome. And the chances are with those people that, that become, say, addicted to X, yeah. if it wasn't X, it would have been Y. And a lot of people shift. Yeah. So a lot of people will say, look, I've got clean off heroin, but then become horrendous gambling addicts. Mm. So that's why we need to tackle yeah. abstinence and then work on the underlying stuff. So that moves us on to the other component of addiction. We're looking at the neurology. Yeah. Now I'd like to look at the psychology. Yeah. And the, by the psychology, obviously what I'm talking about is the thinking. Yep. One of the outstanding characteristics of any addiction or any addict is obsessional thinking. Mm. So all of that stuff's happening in the, in, in the brain. And that's where all your justification, your rationalisation, your mm. planning, mm. Right, your scheming, your delusion, your delusion, yeah. the stories we tell ourselves, yeah. the lies that we tell other people, mm. all of that stuff has been created in there mm. and it's non-stop. There's only one thing that stops it, Craig. Dopamine. Yeah. That right dopamine hit, bang, it goes yeah. quiet. A, a person gets peace. I remember, you know, the, one of the things that you said to me was, uh, were you 12 or 13 when you had your first drink? Somewhere between there. Yeah. So, and... This is fascinating. So your overwhelming kind of experience or feeling when you had your first drink was peace and relief. Oh, I can still remember it. And it was just like this internal pain, emotional, psychological pain that you probably couldn't articulate when you were 13 or 12. But you, you had this thing, you introduced this substance to your body, it changed your biochemistry and relief. No wonder you became an addict. Yeah. So when a 13-year-old boy... Yeah is stealing alcohol from his mum and dad's cabinet and lying and sneaking in and out and doing all these weird things to just get this. Clearly, that's not looking for attention or that's not just nah. fitting in with your peers. No. Nah. That's a legitimate addiction. Absolutely. At, at a very young age. And many people, have they don't understand addiction. And, and, and look, it, it took me many years of being in recovery from addiction yeah. To yeah. understand addiction. Yeah. So even I had the wrong idea as an addict, as a using addict. I yeah. thought that if I just get off it, mm. get a job mm. and pull my socks up, she'll be right, mate. Mm. And that is just so not true. Because as I was talking about the psychological mm. and the emotional, and mm. of course with the emotional as well, mm. as a person goes along in their addiction, they start to do, say, act and react in ways that cause them deep-seated guilt, shame, remorse, regret. There's so much loss. There's so much tragedy that happens mm. and then a person's left with that baggage yeah and that baggage continues to compound so when a person when we talk addiction treatment 
Yeah. People think one of the, one of the words that people use is detox. Yeah. I'm going to detox. Yeah. Well, mate, if you're going to go to detox as your drug and alcohol treatment, good luck, mm. because all that does is deal with getting off the drug. Well, mate, that's fascinating stuff. Thanks for chatting with us. Thanks. Addiction destroys lives and shatters families. Hi, I'm David Schwartz. And if someone you know is battling addiction, there is hope and there is help. Addiction treatment specialist Dayhab are industry leaders, they're friends of mine, and they're ready right now to help you turn your life around. Their residential rehab program offers recovery, help, and hope every step of the way. Take the first step and get in touch with the guys at Dayhab today. Get a life viewers have the opportunity to win some incredible prizes. So make sure you go to our website at getalife.tv and you could win yourself something fabulous. If you'd like a chance to win one of these awesome Kuvings juices, then you better head straight to our website, getalife.tv, and you could win one of six Kuvings juices. Next up, we've got a child trainer with some insights that no parent is going to want to miss. So what type of changes did you see in Denzel's behaviour as the program went on? Denzel was expected to do 10 minute program on a daily basis at home. Mm -hmm. And these were broken up into two minute brackets, which could either be done all in one go or uh, with the problem of lack of attention and being able to stay on task. It was also quite possible to just work in the two minute brackets and as he went through the program I saw a distinct change. He was becoming a lot calmer, he was able to join into games that we played. Do you remember those math games that we played together? His attention increased tremendously and also there was no more of the impulsive behaviour and he was definitely no more a handful when he left the program. Denzel, would you find that the program um, was fun for you in some ways? Yes, yeah, really fun. What type of fun things did you do with the program? Um, sometimes we played fun games, sometimes we tested reflexes, sometimes we just had a little fun. Awesome. So what do you, what do you like to do in your spare time now? Well, I do violin. Piano. I have a new topic which I do singing and I'm in the Australian Boys Choir. I do Cub Scouts which I now have my Grey Wolf which is one of the highest badges you have to train to get. I went to go audition for Disney and they selected me to go for a training camp in America, Orlando, Disneyland. If I get in I could be a movie star. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. I know another movie star called Denzel, so you'll fit right in for sure. Marianne, what would you say to parents out there with um, other children who might be in this similar situation that Denzel is in? What I would like to say is that when you look at a child like Denzel, from the outside they look perfectly normal. And what parents and uh, often teachers and other people in the community even aren't aware that there are some hidden factors of immaturities in the brain. What I would like to say to them is if you are in any doubt that your child perhaps is not fitting into the normal typical range of behaviour that one would expect at that age, that they shouldn't hesitate to bring their child to the consultancy program to have it assessed. It's the best investment for the child and for the parents as well. And gives great results, obviously. Should be proud. Well, thank you both so very much for sharing your story, Denzel, and for being here today. And I'm sure you've inspired a lot of other parents who might see their children in a similar situation and now have a course of action to be able to approach this program and hopefully get the same results that Denzel has achieved. Thank you. Not all juices are created equal. The Kuving CS600 can tackle a ton of fruit and vegetables. The C7000 with sorbet and smoothie accessories included. And for a juicy time, bring one of these babies home today. It always tastes better with Kuvings. 
Hey guys, I'm Jules, I'm back in the kitchen and today I want to share with you a really healing juice. It's gonna be great, definitely going into a new season if you wanna cleanse and detox or if you've maybe been a little bit unwell and you really just wanna support your entire system. I'm going to be using the C7000 Professional Juicer and what I love about this one is that it really allows the juice to have less pulp in it and that way it really just runs through your body a lot easier. We're gonna start with some carrot, really awesome base for a healing veggie juice. We've got some ginger, awesome for the tummy. What a great spice. Really warming, really great metabolism booster as well. We have some turmeric down the front, anti-inflammatory, awesome for the body. And we're gonna mix that with a bit of cayenne pepper. That will give it a little bit of a zing, but the two of those ingredients work really well together and increase the nutritional profile. We've got some lemon, full of vitamin C, and of course, 
all the essential oils in lemon are in the skin. So you wanna make sure you're washing your lemons, but make sure you keep the skin on and they'll give you a few more nutrients when you pop them through. And then we're gonna finish with some apple. Pop them all in, skin, seeds, everything. This juicer will do all the work. Take a look at that super nutritious drink and the pulp, there's hardly anything at all and it's just so super dry that it actually means that all the nutrition and the juice from those veggies is in this glass right here. Time for a try. Yum, yum. There we go. Now I'll just sprinkle our cayenne over the top. Here we go, give it a bit of a stir. to try this fiery drink. Mm. That has got a punch. That definitely has a punch, but you know what? I can feel it warming all the way through. I can feel the nutrition being absorbed into my body. And I know that this is not just any old fruit juice. This is a serious health drink that I could drink every morning and know that I've started my day off right. If you'd like a chance to win one of these awesome Kuvings juices, then you better head straight to our website, getalife.tv, and you could win one of six Kuvings juices. Mm. Remember, it always tastes better with a Kuvings. I love a simple and easy tip to get my morning juice. Thanks, Julia. Now, next up, Talia is much, much braver than I am. She's up in the skies, about to take a leap of faith in St Kilda. All right, we're walking out onto the tarmac. I'm about to load into the plane. I am so ready to get alive. I'm committed. We've been down here in St Kilda for about five years now. And in those five years, how many times do you think you've uh, helped people get from the sky to the ground? Oh, we must be hitting about 40,000 now. 40,000? Yeah. That's a lot of skydiving. <laughs> You're open seven days a week. How many jumps a day are you looking at then? Uh, in the middle of summer right now, we're doing anywhere between 100 and 200. So how many people are jumping with me today? Uh, we're gonna, hopefully going to hit 95 today. That's great. So, what do people experience when they come down to this location? Uh, so, yeah, we start down here in St Kilda Marina. We do the paperwork and the training here. Jump in a bus out to Moorabbin Airport where you jump in our aircraft. Start going up over the city, taking in the views of all the way down the coast, all, the, all of Port Phillip Bay. Beautiful. That's one way to get a light sure. Coming down, yeah, just seeing the CBD right in front of you and um, yeah, coming down to land here in St Kilda. If you head over to the Get A Life website, you can get yourself a special discount for booking with us here. Wow, wow, that was absolutely incredible. Whew. It's those moments when you really stretch the boundaries of your comfort zone that you feel really the most alive, don't yeah. you? Nice job. <gasps> We have had an extremely action-packed day. We have learnt health and fitness tips and lots of information about our bodies. And Tylea has been a very, very busy girl. She's jumped out of a plane and managed to survive. Well I did. I've been all over town, but my feet are safely back on the ground. And now it's time for you to get up off the couch, get your bodies moving and enjoy life. Until next time, get a life. <laughs> No worries. Up, up. <laughs> Ready to go. So Ty, <laughs> what are you doing? He's got creaky shoes. That was actually his kid. <laughs> As you can probably tell by that fantastic kind of fake, there is a <laughs> cheerio. The hunt is on. Onwards and upwards.